looking at? Well, <clears throat> I'm looking at the Constitution of Pakistan. And if you go to Chapter 2 of it, I'll go way down to Article 37 and Sub Article H. Um, you have that the promotion of social justice and eradication of social ills, the state shall prevent the consumption of alcoholic liquor otherwise than for medicinal and in the case of non-Muslims religious purposes, which essentially means they don't allow the consumption of alcohol other than for medicinal purposes or in the case of non-Muslims. So they're not banning it for non-Muslims if if it's um, applied to uh, religious settings. Okay, so that seems a, you know, a reasonable compromise. Now, what's interesting is that there was an amend amendment um, tabled, uh, which I'm going to refer to here. Okay. So it was um, introduced on the 15th of November, 2021. Um, and I think this gives you a fair idea of the kind of the illogical mentality that you find there in some quarters. So the the bit that um, I want us to focus on is the amendment suggests that in the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan in Article 37, in paragraph H, the words and commas and in the case of non-Muslims religious shall be omitted. <clears throat> in other words, no religious exemptions for people who might drink alcohol as part of their religious observances. So what is their rationale for this? So it says drinking alcoholic liquor is an evil act which leads to the destruction of social and moral fabrics of the society. No religion allows the consumption of alcoholic liquor for religious purposes. Let that sink in. I'll come back to that in a minute. The exception to prevention of alcoholic liquor's consumption for religious purposes given in Article 37 uh, or the Constitution is against the spirit of all religious prevailing in Pakistan. This exception is against the protection guaranteed to the minorities in Article 36 of the Constitution. Due to this exception, the non-Muslims of Pakistan are facing defamation, agony, insult, discrimination, fake and frivolous cases and criminal proceedings. All the non-Muslims of Pakistan agree that their religions do not allow the consumption of alcoholic liquor for religious purposes. Through this amendment, the consumption of alcoholic liquor for religious purposes uh, on the name of non-Muslims, uh, uh, should be in the name of non-Muslims, will be prohibited. In this way, the non-Muslims of Pakistan will be protected from defamation, agony, insults, discrimination, fake and frivolous cases and criminal proceedings. Okay, so let's just get my pen out here for a moment. Now, so... One of the claims is that no religion allows the consumption of alco alcoholic liquor for religious purposes. Now, as it stands, that could mean in any part of the world or could refer to just in the context of Pakistan. Um, now, if it's in the context of Pakistan, that would mean that there are no Christians in the country uh, or they think Christians don't use alcohol in, uh, in their religious services. Okay, so let's explore that in a moment. Let's have a look at it again. The exception to prevention of alcoholic liquors consumption for religious purposes given, blah, 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 is against the spirit of all religious prevailing in Pakistan. So they're saying that allowing it is against sort of the religious sentiments of all in Pakistan. Um, and it's even saying that this exception is against protection guaranteed. So they're arguing, perversely, that allowing this is against the protection guaranteed to the minorities. In other words, the minorities 
don't want this it's it's going against their their express wishes um, and it's this false um, claim that um, groups like Christians drink alcohol in the religious services according to this writer is uh, leading to defamation discrimination and so on um, and then this last bit again all the non-Muslims of Pakistan look at that all not just some all the non-Muslims of Pakistan agree that their religions do not allow the consumption of alcoholic liquor for religious purposes now the only maybe sort of question I might have is on the definition of liquor but I presume it means alcoholic drinks in general um, so they're basically saying by changing this removing that piece from from the text there's this bit in the case of non-muslims religious that the non-muslims Pakistan would be protected from defamation agony and so forth okay so I suppose we start with the the question of um, do Christians drink alcohol uh, yes we do um, do Christians drink alcohol as part of religious service yes we do Catholics do it this is known the world over Orthodox Christians do it many Protestant Christians do it it's something that Jesus did it's, it's what Christians do um, so that's one thing so let's have a look at the the religious profile of of Pakistan now let's just zoom in a little bit here so you can see it so there are about 96.47 percent of the country's population that practice Islam the remaining less than four percent practice Hinduism Christianity and so forth okay so the claim is that None of these minorities drink alcohol as part of the religious services. Okay, so we've already shown that uh, Christians do, so the claim is false. What about Hindus? What's their attitude? Well, Hindus have got a varied attitude to alcohol. Some are for, some against, even in terms of scriptures. Um, there's a whole load of different opinions on this, but just to... Just to give you an idea, um, here are some examples of Hindu scriptures that support alcohol consumption. So it does allow it. It even has um, an interesting one here, which is basically the higher the caste, the more alcohol you're allowed to drink. Um, now, I won't go into all the different religious sects, but th to go back to the amendment um, you could see that this is um, a false claim so first of all it's claiming that no religion allows the consumption of alcoholic liquor for religious purposes well Christians certainly do Hindus at the very least allow it for personal use okay um, and the idea that all the non-muslims of Pakistan agree that their religions do not allow the consumption of alcoholic liquor for religious purposes is again again is false there may be good reasons for religious minorities not to stick their head above the parapet because they'll get killed um, but that's not uh, the same as saying that they actually agree with the sentiments so as of 2022 um, the, the constitution has been changed it would appear that this um, amendment that was introduced has not been accepted at least so far um, if, if anyone who's watching from Pakistan knows any better uh, you can correct me but um, based on the the latest that I have here which um, has the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan it includes all the various amendments and there is no recent amendment in relation to alcohol um so that's it for today thank you for watching